Cheryl Martone. going to tape myself because someday I want to show this to my son how hard I worked on these things. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm Cheryl Martone. I started U.S. Concerned Parents Support Group in February of 2009. Most of you know me here. I was from Westbrook and now I live in West Haven. And uh, I'm a parent lobbyist and working on parents and children's rights, networking with other parents, um, grandparents locally. And uh, I belong to a national group called We the People Family Preservation, which is a 501c4. I recently became a 501c3. Um, I'm not going to be so nice about GAL because of what has happened to my son and AMCs. And this is, I've sent you this testimony too, so we should not have to fight with these poorly trained, ill-minded, money-grabbing, not caring about our children that work as GALs and AMCs in our court. They do work. What kind of work are they doing? It is making a family go into poverty, become homeless, lose assets, and then being threatened with losing your child if you don't suck up to the RICO lies. And Sue Cousineau was my child's GAL, never did any good work for my child. He is 18 and very emotionally torn because of this bad system. Why do they continue to play with a fit parent? parents who provided wholesome activities and a good home for their child and try to make continue to make parents look unfit. My message to GALs and AMCs is stop your nonsense. And my suggestion is to the judges, stop appointing GALs and AMCs where they're not needed. Yes, we are in a good fight in a holy war, and we have our ammo with constitutional and family law, practice book rules, and the plan we want to make for our children. We have to put our hard hats on and watch out for the immoral grenades being thrown at us by the GALs and the AMCs as a good, loving, nurturing parent. God has his spear of protection around us now because we got your, or your attention, and there's many of us here that are speaking up. We need to put up a moral, we need to put our moral boundaries of which they cannot penetrate. You know the family court and juvenile courts have put our lives through hell, or tried to with the GALs misconstruing all things up in your case. We know these so-called professionals right now are squirming in their devilish seats because we are bringing forward the atrocities that have caused, and we need to keep doing this. We need to ask this Judiciary Committee to abolish the GAL and AMC system or make oversight on them to show all their earnings is why their appointments are out of control when they lie about our innocent when they lie about innocent caring nurturing parents I'll just wrap this up last part they cause intentional affliction of emotional distress when they brainwash browbeat ridicule humiliate your child into saying things about the caring protective parent that is not true and there's more, but I sent the uh, Judicial Committee my this testimony. Thank you. Are there questions? This is my child before he was um, illegally taken and put into DCF custody because um, a GAL wanted to write fault reports and aid and abed DCF to make false reports and then perjure herself in the court. 
Sure, my eyesight's not that good. Would you give uh, that copy to the staff at the desk over here so I can see it up close? Yeah, because this was a happy, loving, well-nourished, wholesome child before. And now he's pretty much doing nothing with his life at 18 that I have to fix the pieces. Thank you. Um, Do you have any questions? Hand that, please, to Al or Pooja over okay. here to my left, at the desk to my left. Thank and I'll you. give it right back after I take a seat, guys. Appreciate you listening to my testimony. Yeah, anytime. I know you do. I hope they could either abolish the system or fix what's going on because I court watch all the time and I advocate for parents. And I see the atrocities and the, the blemishes that causes parents' lives. Thank you. Thank you.